Good morning. I'm Debbie Siegel, and I'm an, a wetland scientist, and I've been working as an environmental uh, in the field of environmental science for over 25 years as a consultant, environmental consultant, and I've worked with many of your staff, your very trained and scientific staff on topics such as minimum flows and levels, ERP, wetland mitigation, um, and, and um, land management activities. And um, most recently, I have started volunteering as an environmental educator with the Florida Springs Institute. And I go to high schools and I give presentations on the springs, on the problems that the springs are having, their connection to the Florida aquifer, and the, um, the changes that have occurred. I show them photographs of John Moran's photos, photos of the springs 20 or 30 years ago and how they look now. And it's really heart-wrenching to, to admit to these students that this degradation has occurred in our watch just over the last 20 years. Mine is an environmental scientist and all of ours as professionals here. And, um, and I just want to ask on behalf of these students, uh, just a few months ago I visited um, Buholtz High School and spoke to over 500 students in their audience. And we had demonstrations and I show them how the pollution is occurring, how pollution moves through the soil and impacts the, the spring and comes out at the springs. So um, on behalf of the youth of North Central Florida, of all the students here that are coming into, are receiving these springs in a very um, degraded state, I want to ask that you please consider tabling this to postpone um, your decision and until you can make it more protective of springs protection. Thank you.